The plane stopped. Here we go, guys. Have any of you ever heard of a plane stop? No? Well, I'd like you all to imagine, if you will, a world in which all the bus stops have been replaced with air runways, and bus passes have become plain boarding passes, as that's what this story is all about. One sunny Monday morning in July, Rupert Vimes was on his way to work. As he worked in the city, he needed to board a plane there, so he walked down to the nearest plane stop and showed his boarding pass and business card to check in and get his seat in business class free. Once seated in business class of flight 23 to Portsmouth from nursery runway, he buckled up and relaxed as the pilot announced takeoff, and off they went jetting up into the sky. They made several stops along the way before finally landing at Portsmouth and Southsea Airport, and he thanked the flight attendants and got off the plane. As he left the terminal, He emerged on the busy city street and made his way to his place of work, which was Waterstone's bookshop, for his shift. During his shift, he sold over 60 books and box sets, which was a record for a morning shift worker. After lunch, he boarded flight uh, first flight 3 to Fareham Airport to see his sister, Dana, for the afternoon. Once he boarded and seated himself in a window in a window seat in the normal cabin, he ordered a cup of coffee and a donut for the flight. After about an hour's flight they arrived at Fareham Airport where Dana was there to meet him at the gate. How was your flight? she asked. Him. It was good, thanks, he replied, as they left the terminal and got in her car. When they arrived at Dana's house, his nieces Tiff and Lynn greeted him with the biggest hug ever. It was time to begin the afternoon with his sister and nieces, and... It was loads of fun. After six hours of non-stop fun, he caught the eight o'clock flight back to Cosham Airport, where he had to change flights back to Malins Airport. Board a star flight, a stage flight 23 to Lee Park Airport, which didn't take very long, considering it was only 10 stops away. Once he was off the plane at Malins Airport, he thanked the people at the terminal and wished them a good night before leaving the terminal and walking home. His day had been very eventful and he was tired. Once he was in the front door, he conked out on the living room sofa. And that, guys, was the story of the plane stop. I hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah. This time you actually got to see it on the screen as I was reading it to you. So you could have read along. And that's it for this episode. Uh, join me next time.
as the third of the Fairyland, no, as the third of the Leap Year Girl stories will be read out to you. Until then, bye-bye now.